This is step three for kindergarten pumpkin drawing. So for this step, you will need your art book with your pumpkin drawing, and then you would also need a marker. Um, it can be a permanent marker or a washable Crayola marker would work as well. Another thing I wanted to note, um, parents and students, that with your art books, um, especially when we use markers, um, getting an extra piece of paper, so I just have an extra scrap piece of paper that I put underneath my page that I'm working on. Um, especially with markers, they tend to bleed through. These pages are a little thin, so that will just prote protect the rest of your art book pages. Um, another thing you could do if you don't have a piece of scrap paper, um, either doing this, but then again, you want to be careful of the surface, um, with, especially with permanent marker, it tends to stain on surfaces. So any kind of paper, construction paper, loose leave, I think will, will help from the marker bleeding through the, um, the paper. <laughs> so with your marker students, go ahead and open it up, putting the cap on the edge um, the end of the marker. Now if you are using a permanent marker, be sure to be careful with it. They does, if you get it on your hands, it takes a little bit longer to get off your hands. Um, what I tell my students in the classroom, permanent markers are for your artwork, they're not for your arms, hands, or desks. So please use it just for your artwork. What we're going to do in this step is outline our pumpkin. So when I say outline, I mean to trace over all of your pencil lines. So when I outline, I like to start at the top, especially if you're using a washable marker. Um, be careful, they tend to smear, so take your time and try not to let your hand drag if you're using a washable marker. But I like to start at the top and work my way down when I trace. So doing one section at a time, I want you to trace all of your pencil lines. Even working from one side of the paper and going all the way across. We have a lot of students who forget this little part right here, so don't forget the little bottom of the pumpkin. Take your time with this step. Try your best to stay on top of the pencil lines that you already created. After you get your pumpkin done, make sure to get your horizon line as well. So starting on one end. Okay. That is step three. Get your marker back on, your marker top back on your marker nice and tight. Okay. Good job.